Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people on whose traditional lands these videos are made. And a huge welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. And I hope some of you after yesterday's video, which to be honest, it was a half hour, uh, very uh, minute summary beginning um, of something that usually would be a day long or at least a weekend long uh, experience of introduction to your guides. Um, I hope that you've been able to make some tentative moves to being able to uh, get in touch with your guides and I will admit you know uh, the first four, five, six months of engage, um, the chink in the armour and starting to engage with your guides can be really scary but once you are comfortable with them being constantly in your presence uh, in your space, uh, it, the light and love is just absolutely fabulous and sometimes they make me inappropriately laugh. Uh, so yeah, I, I wish every blessing and every love for your journey as you discover. Now not everybody has um, multiple guides, there will be one uh, main guide and uh, the others come and go like friendships. Or people into your lives they come and go uh, as you require them at various stages of your life some stay for decades some secondary um, guides stay for your lifetime um, and some come for literally a couple of weeks or just a quick visit to check in okay what I'm going to have a look at today in this reading is uh, the GOP attempts to remove uh, DA Fanny Willis in a blatant, uh, blatant example of trying to pervert the course of justice in regards to the Georgia fraud trials. Um, mm, interesting uh, news coming out about the messaging that went on behind the scenes of Fox in regards to Tucker, with spelt with an F, and his uh, co-hosts, etc., um, for four years, the messaging is saying this guy is a disaster, um, yet uh, while they were um, hosting, they were rah rahing him, um, but behind the scenes they thought he was an absolute um, idiot, <laughs> idiot, and... Uh, uh, couldn't understand why they were why they were actually promoting this dude uh, and the CPAC a lot of empty seats um, and despite having being the main draw card being a hundred percent Republican being people who go out of their way to attend um, Trump himself only got a 62 percent approval rating so ghastly, ghastly figures. I mean, 62% would be fabulous if it was the entire populace, but these are his core supporters, and only 62% of them thought he was uh, was any decent, was any was worth anything. Okay, right. Yeah, the money is drying up for both of these outlets, but I'm getting mainly for Trump because this is my Trump all card. The money is drying up and it's causing him a lot of anxiety. Anyhow, back on track. Back to Fanny Willis. Show me. I'm not. I'm not feeling that it'll. Um, they'll be have any effect. But we'll just have a look anyhow. Okay, the GOP attempt to oust Fanny Willis. How's that gonna go for them? How's that gonna go for them? Oops, I'm using my mystical manga cards, which I use for, oh, getting a really prickly scalp here. Uh, mystical manga, which means the boys are here in, in spades and they really want to read on this. Um, mystical manga, which are my political cards. So show me Fanny Willis, show me, show me the GOP's attempt to remove Fanny Willis from office. Not sure what's fallen out there, but we'll have a look in a minute. A couple of, another one just fell out. The GOP attempt to remove Fanny Willis from office. That card. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Here we have the money trail behind the scenes. Oh, thank you. I just got told that a number of them are fearful of what's going to come out. Thank you, guys. Um, uh, if she is successful. Because 
it is about the money trail going on behind the scenes for these legislators. So that's why they're trying to prevent it. It's not just for, thank you, they're telling me it's not just for Trump. Because a lot of these investigators are really um, concerned about being tracked and pinned. Okay, thank you guys, that was an interesting <laughs> dump there. Um, okay, foundation of this reading is they're going to financially reap what they have sowed. So it is very much about the money that they have harvested from from what was done, from what they put out there. Okay, this is why. In the past, full illumination, the sun being shone on what occurred. The sun being shone on Okay, thank you. The light being illuminated on these uncomfortable alliances. Now, if you're new to tarot, the guides will direct you towards a particular deck for the images. So the base of, of, of the message that's coming through is in the learning of what the images mean, uh, what the cards actually mean. So this is sort of joyful illumination, youthful exuberance, etc., but you really, really have to look at the image on the cards. And these two youngsters, which are also um, very reminiscent of the two youngsters in the uh, Six of Cups, which is about the past, what's gone on in the past, but they don't look particularly happy here. So what I'm getting is it's illumination of the agreements that were made in the past and it they have been exposed okay which is why they're trying to put the brakes on it hanging over the reading is having to walk away from what what is no longer viable for them so this is from the GOP's point of view they're going to have to walk away it's, but also, okay, thank you. I'm drawn to the path there. It's also going to be a hard emotional journey for those who were duped in. Thank you, guys. Interesting word. Duped in in Georgia. It's going to be a hard emotional journey to walk away, but they are going to. Okay. Immediate future here is uh, Trump or, and the Trumpism energy, the masculine, aggressive masculine, my way or the highway, you will do what I tell you. So this is the immediate energy that's coming forward from the GOP. Is this, thank you, they're telling me it's an aggressive attacking energy that's coming immediate. However, externally, there will be a choice that needs to be made. There are options being offered here. Some readers call this the illusion and delusion card because of the shrouded figure here. But what I'm seeing is that the, the legislators are being offered a choice as to whether they choose the greed, the money, the power, the fame, the beauty, or they choose what has not yet been revealed, so externally. So this is for the GOP. Internally for them, the messages are going to be difficult for them to carry, and it is going to be, the messages are going to bring about an ending. The messages, the message, the messaging that's going to come out of this, they're going to find burdensome. And here we have the ending, the scythe cutting through. Some decks it means the authentic reform, but in this particular deck there is no uh, uh, new beginning energy. It is literally about um, being cut down and ended. So their attack on Fanny Willis, what I'm getting is it's not going to work, but let's see what the outcome brings. 
Um, okay, we've got an uncomfortable victory here. Uncomfortable rah rah look at me messaging. Okay. The sh thank you. They're showing me the image here where you've got the the rider riding in with all these wands upright. They think, okay, they think what the messaging that they're putting out there is going to be um, enable them to have a win in this case, but there are there's no there's no supporters. There's no supporters in this. So it's very much a thank you. They're telling me it's more about a a rah rah look at me messaging that's going out. Um, thinking that they're going to be victorious, but there are there's no support for it. And the actual figure on the horse, he does not look um, he does not look victorious at all. Okay, yeah, they're going to be restricted. The truth is going to restrict them. So they think they can put these messages out, but it's it's not going to work. They're going to be restricted. There is going to be exposure of this this money trail, this grift, uh, this you pay me and I'll do whatever. Going to come forward fairly quickly. Uh, and then we have the Ace of Wands, which is about, if you have a look at this image, the houses in the background are literally being consumed by flame as there is this new beginning being brought forward. So I'm really feeling that the, 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 this um, what they're trying to do is going to go down in flames and here we have justice. Justice. Their actions are going to have consequences. On the base, we have the Knight of Swords. These are interesting base cards, so I'll bring them forward. The Knight of Swords, a harsh truth coming forward for the GOP about their lies. Their lies are going to be, you've got the eyes here overlooking. Their lies are going to be fully, fully exposed and fully seen, which is causing them a lot of anxiety behind the scenes. All truth cards here. The truth is causing them nightmares at the moment, and they know it. And this is why they're taking this action. And then we have the Ace of Cor uh, Ace of Cups, again another uh, new beginning after an emotional overwhelming. As the contracts and agreements, the financial contracts and agreements are exposed and being brought forward. We have the Ace of Coins and then the Ace of Swords. So all of the Aces have come out in this, which are telling me it's it's going to basically um, cut down what was there, what what it's not going to work. <laughs> basically, it's not going to work, and it is going to bring about. A lot of exposed, a lot of exposure in regards to the financial gain that some of them have made from this. Got paid for for taking the path that they were taking, uh, doing what they were doing, and it is about real um, a new start for Georgia, a new start for Georgia. Uh, yeah, it is about plan coming to fruition about setting up new boundaries. So there is going to be legislative league and legal reform come out of this. Okay, uh, just have a quick look from Fanny Willis's point of view. How's this GOP attempt going to... How's this GOP attempt to remove her from office going to play out? Or Fanny Willis. Let's have a look very quickly. Oh, that one's already flipped over on me. This is about the the signifier is hmm. Okay, what have we got here? This is the 
passing the baton. Thank you. They're telling me it's about passing the baton on to the next generation. The reason why I had to stop and really think about this is this is usually my, my Trump org or intergenerational money or oligarchs. But what I'm getting from this particular card is it's, thank you, tens are an ending of a cycle. And it's telling me that it is an ending of a cycle of money and politics for some reason. Okay, not quite sure how that's going to come about. And here we have the Ace of Wands again. Burning down, flaming the part, what has gone on in the past to bring forward a new beginning. And yeah, this is interesting from Fanny Willis's point of view. This, okay, thank you. They're telling me that this particular case is a real pivotal moment in in US politics, okay? What we've got going on behind the scenes, an offer being made, an offer being brought forward, something being brought forward and emotional, emotionally brought forward, but it's also very much a crossroads moment thigh deep in the swamp. Uh, the sun is somewhat shaded, but it, it's trying to break through the darkness. The eyes are closed, uh, and there are two swords of truth. So it's very much about a crossroads. This case is a crossroads moment where the eyes need to be opened and a path forward out of the swamp with a sword of truth needs to be chosen this is an this is an opportunity they're telling me this is an offer of an opportunity thank you right what's going to come out of this queen of coins strength strength i'm getting from that card strength for democracy is what i'm being told the coins, yes, it can mean money. It also it means health and wealth. It also means security, stability, um, uh, growth, opportunities. So it's an opportunity to set stability. Thank you. And the Queen of Swords, two queens. Fanny Willis, in a nutshell, prosecutor bringing the case forward, bringing clarity. Queens are also a, a, a empathetic, compassionate energy, but do not underestimate the strength. Never underestimate the strength of a determined woman, bringing about clarity and the truth. Energy's over. Yeah, we've got this devil energy that she's exposing. And she's turning the wheel of fortune on this devil energy. It is a case, it is a situation of real dramatic change for her uh, that she's bringing forward. Okay, the outcome having to defend themselves as she exposes the seedy underbelly, the swamp, the thigh deep in the swamp. Again, here's these houses. If you have a look at the Ace of Wands, this is the inspirational energy of a new beginning that she's bringing forward. If you have a look at the houses they, that she's going to be setting flames to, they are the same houses as what is surrounding this, this um, swampy energy, this thigh deep in the swamp energy. So it's very much about ending a cycle of money and politics. It's the first step. Thank you, guys. Here we have justice. A lot of major arcana coming forward. Justice and the King of Swords. The prosecution. Okay. On the base, we have the illusion about the mercenary actions is going to be um, brought forward and rebalanced. The illusions, yeah, it's going to be slow and steady progress forward from this illusion energy to a more rebalanced 
a rebalanced uh, democracy. Okay, thank you for joining me. Uh, take care. Any questions, pop them below, and I shall catch you shortly. Bye-bye.